Hey guys, I'm Josh from Lazy Acres. Thank you for tuning in. We're saving the world here one trailer at a time. And I love this trailer, guys. This is a 2021 Transcend 265BH. Uh, we're gonna call it a 2021B because it's got some new upgrades uh, they've just released here in the fall. The 12 volt fridge, the ridiculous exterior color that's new uh, that the earlier 21s did not have. So let's get after this guy. Right here at the front, power front jack with a front light. We love that. 20 pounds paint tanks, gonna come full from Lazy Acres, black plastic cover, we love that. Battery in a the box, there's gonna be space there to put a secondary battery if you want. We got the new black front here. It's still got a nice flat satin finish, guys, so it looks hot. Looks really good here in the front. I, I love the front of this trailer. And then now they have the black skin uh, down the side with some white accents, which look cool. Pass-through storage, we've got ourselves a uh, battery disconnecting through here, your city water connection, outside receptacle, cable satellite inlet, all here in our wet bay. This model weighs around 6,600 pounds. Yeah, 6,616. We've got four stabilizer jacks, one on each corner, they're manual. Our washroom is right in the center here. Uh, so here's our black water flush kit. And then we've got ourselves a rack and pinion style uh, slide, pulling the uh, the U-shape uh, um, uh, dinette and the fridge off the floor of the trailer. One cool thing, guys, is we don't have any vents on the outside of this fridge now, right? So the fridge is actually right here in this unit, nothing coming through the outside of the trailer. That's a nice feature that we get on a 12 volt only fridge. Uh, here is our water here, it's a six gallon, 30 amp service on this model with detachable style cord. Rear roof ladder, get up on your roof, check your seals, soup off your slides, it's really important, guys. Uh, check out this rear, uh, storage piece here underneath our double over double beds in the back. Got yourself a receptacle there on the left hand side. And then we've got ourselves a oh, spare tire, full size. We're gonna cover that with a uh, Lazy Acre tire cover. Freshwater fill, the fill up right here if you don't have an end of the hose. And then you have an outside spray pour right here that just comes out cold water. Don't forget to winterize that. Lend a hand, grab handle, three step entrance. Uh, electric on it, it starts right here. Covers uh, our main door, of course. Cuts just short here of our secondary door. We've got ourselves some Westlake tires, 15 inch tires, six bolt hubs, nitro fill. And then this guy right here, that's to bring in or out your rack and paint slide if you have a power issue. Outside speakers, LED light right here. Range hood vent, furnace vent, outside TV location. Uh, and then a secondary entrance here. Why does the secondary entrance matter? Because with the slide out closed, you can still get to your washroom and your bedroom on the side of the road. So you have to pop the slide open to get to all that stuff. Right on guys, let's go have a look inside. Right on guys, we're inside that 265BH. Just a quick little bit of housekeeping though. Uh, my cameraman pointed out they are discontinuing that outside spray port. So uh, on models moving forward, they're not gonna have that outside kind of cold water spray port right through there. Just keep that in mind uh, looking at this video. But 60 by 80 inch queen mattress, we love that. We got ourselves a headboard up front here, an overhead shelf storage, hanging storage on either side, and a little bit of a cubby down through here. Right on. Into the living space, or sorry, into the washroom. We're good. We'll do a quick squat check here. Porcelain toilet, lots of space. Lots of stand up space here in the shower, okay? Skylight here above me. If I was a little taller, I'd be okay in through here. Got that plastic shower door. We got long, a little bit of, a, a, a long amount of counter space, shelf, shelf, storage, and then a medicine cabinet right through here. Towel bar. And then this is one of the new changes they made on the interior of the coach, guys, is we have a Furion 12 volt fridge. So this is running off a battery right now, okay? Um, there's also a panel that gets put on these, so a solar panel. So what's gonna happen there is the panel's gonna take the 12 volts, charge your battery for you, and then operate your fridge. So that's kind of how they've uh, made this work here. There's some benefits, it cools faster, it's better going down the road, it vents inside. Uh, it's probably a little more reliable fridge. Um, a little bit less flexibility, but I think we kind of eliminated that by having the, the solar panel on the roof. Now, a little bit of a drawer down here, okay? A uh, quick note on this 12 volt fridge, it is a bigger fridge. So we get ourselves a eight cubic foot, yeah, eight cubic foot fridge here on the Transcends, where last year we had a six cubic foot. U-shaped dinette, storage here underneath the U-shape. Okay, the U-shape is gonna turn into a bed, big sliding window, that's gonna slide all the way across, give, a, give us a lot of airflow into the, into the trailer. And then we have our couch down here. I always figure out where these drawers or cupboards down below. 
for more storage. To turn this into a bed, it's a rollover style. Never mind, it's a jackknife style. Pay attention, Josh. Jackknife style couch there. <clears throat> now, towards the door side, we got this main entrance. We got a lot of counter space. We got ourselves drawers in through here. Cupboards here, good spot for maybe shoes to go in, that bottom shelf. Our breakers and our fuses are down there with another shelf there. Blue lights on our oven, glass stove top cover, hot pan drawer down below. Range hood, microwave. Bunch of overhead storage here for our uh, plates and cups. I like it, they have a, a built in shelf here. Pull out faucet, undermount, stainless steel sink. And then these countertops are awesome, guys. Nice and seamless. They're not solid surface, but they are a seamless countertop, so not gonna count part on you. Skipped over the TV. So this is facing the U-shape right now, okay? But we can bring this out on an angle and have it face the couch pretty easily so you can get some good viewing pleasure and also facing your bunks there. Now, I love these bunks because we have stairs built in, but before we go up the stairs, there is drawers here built in. All right, and the kind of like a wardrobe slot closet here. Each bunk has a window, each bunk has a light. Um, nice bunk beds, and they're easy to get in. Like if I want to get into this top bunk, you know, not too big a deal, right? Just hop up and in, and then the, the bottom bunks can be even easier. Right on, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. That was a 21, uh, sorry, 2021B Transcend 265BH. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, share with your friends if you want. You can email us here at sales at laceyacres.com or you can uh, call us at 705-833-2539. Have yourself a good day.